Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne hackman Cardi. In today's episode, I speak with Frankie Clogston. She is a vice president at the International Economic Development Council in Washington, D.C. Frankie's job is to make sure the Restore Your Economy portal stays alive and robust. This is the area where they talk about business and economic recovery. They show best practices, they're offering webinars, and with COVID, they've really upped the ante with their resources. So stay tuned as I talk to Frankie about how they are helping better equip communities and businesses for their recovery efforts post-COVID. Hey Frankie, it's great to see you. How are you doing today? I'm very well, Leanne. How are you? Good. I'm good. I, I wanted to just have a special episode uh, on the work you're doing with IDC and Restore Your Economy. I know you guys have a lot of resources uh, for economic developers and communities in general, but can you maybe start a little bit just about the portal, the work you do, and then we'll talk specifically about COVID? Absolutely. Um, IDC, as many of you probably know, is the world's largest economic development Uh, membership organization. We have about 5,000 members, and that's the states, the territories, uh, that's provinces in Canada, and over a dozen countries. And uh, some of the work that I'm involved in is um, programming that we do with grants. We've been very involved in disaster recovery and resilience work. And I think today, however, maybe what's more relevant is, um, is COVID, which is just a it's a pivot, I suppose, from a lot of the natural disaster recovery and resiliency work. It has a lot in common with it. Um, we are looking at doing needs assessments and helping businesses, and um, we're trying to help uh, businesses that are in financial peril, um, you know, uh, get through this situation. And um, we are not really looking towards medium and long term. Um, or we're not seeing that happening now, but we're planning for it. We're planning for longer term recovery. Um, unlike a natural disaster, however, where you can see that the curve is such that uh, there's short term recovery going into medium term recovery and then down th- through long term recovery. Um, and then hopefully uh, you're in a stable state for a while. This COVID epidemic, this pandemic that we're facing, could potentially have several waves. And so what we're trying to do is here at IEDC, give communities a resource for them to um, understand what the short-term impacts of COVID are and how to help the small businesses in their community and also help them through the reopening stage, which we are very much going through now, and to provide resources through different portals, um, through our uh, website, restoreyoureconomy.org, and um, through webinars, a series of webinars we've been doing uh, since uh, since March, mid, mid to the end of March. and um, our CEO and myself, and you know, we all we also try to use the megaphone and um, appear wherever we can. We're lucky to be with Leanne today. Um, that's kind of a general background, Le- Leanne, but perhaps so that we can have a dialogue. Um, what what else can I provide insight into? Well, and you know, thank you. Uh, you know, for me personally, your organization has always been so great in having resources and willing to help. You helped me with the flood work that I did in 2013 and then Fort McMurray in 2016. Just having your uh, expertise, your resources was a huge help to Alberta. And I know that you have continued to provide so much support internationally, uh, nationally throughout the U.S., but it's been very important. And I think you really put um, the whole business and economic recovery topic on the radar for many communities who had never thought of that before. So thank you for that. Um, When it speaks, the COVID issue, you mentioned it. Uh, So what are you guys doing right now to help support communities with COVID? Um, Well, as I said, let me start with restoreyoureconomy.org. And um, that's a website that started with the EDA and our disaster recovery and and, um, resilience program, which Southwest funds. Um, and it was more devoted to natural disasters. Uh, you know, sometimes we would feature a man-made, um, disaster, but it was more focused on natural disasters. And, uh, you know, when COVID hit, it's, it's one of the kinds of disasters, um, that kind of falls within the purview. It's just that we never thought we would experience it at this, at this state, at this scale. 
That is to say, it's an economic shock that hits an economy that's exogenous that an economy has to figure out how to react to. And um, you know, we have a toolkit, by the way, which is called Leadership in Times of Crisis, and it talks about the different kinds of shocks. So this is one of them. So we said, we have to retool restoreyourconomy.org. And we have collected on this website different kinds of material. You're going to find just fundamentally under the resources section, we go um, state by state and province by province when it comes to Canada. And then we go um, within those states, you, you will find cities that are all the cities over 100,000 and then counties and regional organizations. And you'll be taken to those websites for those resources. Um, then you have ongoing articles. Um, for example, we're always tracking what's had, happening at the federal level in the US. Uh, that is to say the CARES package. Um, we outline what's happening there with SBA so people understand PPP and other kinds of um, loan products coming out of that. And uh, then we try to hit on what our membership is asking us for. And sometimes they're saying, you know, what can we do about the fact that we have de declining revenue in our own EDOs? So um, we can't necessarily, and then right now, really our focus is on how do we open up our economy? Now, we can't necessarily answer all those questions ourselves, but what we do is we draw upon our membership of, you know, 5,000. We find their best practices, and you're going to see a ton of links, and you're going to see very practical resources for you. We also have thought pieces there um, where economic development leaders kind of give essays really with a lot of insights about what's happening and then we have uh, templates so um, at the beginning everybody just wanted to know the extent of the need and you don't know how many members asked us for surveys and um you know for templates so so we put that kind of thing up there as if, so that people can get that kind of uh, so, uh, so they, they can understand what the exactly their community's needs look like um, so that is the website and um it's also the, you can find there all of the webinars we've been doing. Um, we started out with a webinar that had for us a record. It had like more than 1,200 attendees, including the uh, CEO of the Los Angeles County um, Economic Development Organization and also what the, the, the Economic Development Organization leader from um, Toronto, where the SARS epidemic had hit. So again, you are talking about major metropolises contributing their, their experiences. And um, another webinar we had featured Richard Florida, and he had his 10 point plan about how economies recover and reopen. So um, this is the kind of work that we're trying to do, you know, give people the give people the thought, give them the practical tools and give them the examples and stay updated. We kind of moved our staff into this kind of a mode. Um, well, me and some of the immediate people I work with do that. And then we have the marketing people. Um, doing more, working more on the webinars, but honestly, we've actually, we are all just working together, which is interesting because of course we're remote. I think we're all working harder than we ever have. Um, now, I, I do want to mention, we still do natural disaster recovery and resilience. So um, it's different though, and we're offering it remotely. And so we've had a little bit of a remote technical assistance start to happen. And I was on the phone uh, Friday, we have a major project in Puerto Rico, and um, we are working on doing a regional study in the southwest region where the earthquakes have hit. And um, so we were down there in the first phase, and I, I was there uh, with uh, a team, including a, one of our seasoned economic developer professionals. And um, we did preliminary site, a site survey and, and, and uh, interviews with, with representative members of focus groups. Now the whole mission was to go down the last week of the month, but it got canceled. So now it's going to go virtual. And we discussed how that might happen. And then, you know, I had to send an email out this morning. I was so sorry. And it was like the one I sent out to you, Leanne, about layering, you know, yeah. what, what happens when you have a natural disaster like Hurricane Maria, in your case, you had fires, and then you get hit by COVID. And then you get hit by what? Fort Murray gets hit by flooding and Puerto Rico got hit by earthquakes just this week, yesterday, another. So um, IDC is faced with a lot of challenges. And by the way, when we have our annual conference and we cross our fingers, we are really going to have it in October. We've had to cancel the last two. I intend to, you know, try to explore that. What happens to a community who's trying to recover and then they get hit by another disaster. I think that's critical because, you know, I, I've seen that over and over now. And, and, and I think it's because this COVID piece uh, that nobody can get out of their homes. But all of a sudden you realize 
it's forest fire season coming up. It's hurricane season coming up. All of these other variables, tornado season. Um, what are we going to do? It's just going to make it that much more difficult. But that's why the work you're doing and the work we're doing is so important in helping people prepare, sharing best practices, what works, what doesn't work. Because the thing that I'm always amazed, people look at it and go, well, nobody's gone through this before. Well, actually, about two minutes on your website will show they have, and yeah. there are things they've learned, and people want to pay it forward and help others. So, you know, thank you for what you're doing on a daily basis, and I hope people will, will take advantage of all your resources and look forward to working with you in the future. Take care, Frankie. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Leanne.